Hello guys, what is up? This is Shrimp Boy Ho, and this is part two of my front end web development series. In this episode, or in this tutorial, I will be getting you guys acquainted with HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is basically the format, the formatting language which in which documents are written so that the web browser will be able to display them accordingly. We will go over some of the features of this language and in the next video we will go over some more more extensively but for now um, I'm just gonna be giving you guys a screencast and I am working off of my um, my Macintosh computer so um, without further ado um, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, once you have it set up is you're gonna realize that all your web projects are normally gonna be in a folder so you're gonna want to create a folder I'm gonna just keep mine titled untitled folder because I I really don't know how to change folder names on a Macintosh but they'll have to do so you're gonna want to open that folder up and inside there you're gonna want to create your um, you're just gonna want to get acquainted with it because that's where basically everything's gonna be and then you're gonna want to open up sublime text 2 if you didn't have sublime text 2 before you're gonna want to um, um, you're gonna want to download it and watch my previous video but what you want to do immediately is you're gonna want to save the file to a location on your um, in that folder so you're gonna want to go to your um, you're gonna want to go to your desktop inside the folder and always add the dot html extension to the file so once you have that set up You'll, you can begin editing the file but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open up Google Chrome and I'm um, hold on that's my disk image but yeah I'm gonna open up Google Chrome I'm gonna open up my index.html in Google Chrome I'm gonna um, exit out of all the rest of my stuff but once I have all that set up um, I'm now viewing my index.html file it's empty right now but what I do when I'm working with white pages I normally minimize my Chrome window and kind of put it off to the side and then I take my index at my um, coding window and put it off to the other side and now I'll be able to see both my input and my output all at once so all HTML documents begin with these tags the HTML and then the dot the ending dot HTML the ending slash HTML now anything within those two greater than or less than signs are called tags and this is um so those are some tags now what I'm creating is I'm creating the head tags and each tag that you start off you need to end it with the equivalent tag except with a slash mark and my battery is now running low but let's ignore that for now so I have my head tag created and in within my head tag I'm gonna create another tag my title tag so see how I'm creating it and putting the title and the slash title and tab and now I'm giving the title for our page our first HTML page so this is gonna be the title of the page that the browser will have so you'll notice up there it shows our page let me exit out of some of this stuff but there you'll see it says our first HTML page that's the title that's what the browser is going to display then I'm going to actually create the body of my HTML page now basically everything you see on the page is located within the body so that's where all our meat for our page is going to be so we're, I'm just going to format this up just a bit so it looks a bit prettier because HTML documents can tend to get pretty large so you're going to always want to format nicely so you can keep track of everything and how it's organized and what tags are in what. Now these are H tags, heading tags. Now this is a heading one tag. So I'm going to write this as a heading. I'm going to save it. I'm going to reload it here. And you'll see it says this is a heading. Now what you're going to see me do is show you some other heading tags. These are other ones. I'm just repasting and I'm changing. There's heading two. And I'm making sure to close off my tags appropriately. Now if I reload, you'll notice that you have three different sized headings. And that's um that just shows you what these three tags mainly do. So now that we have that now that we have that set up, um I'm gonna show you another cool thing. This is how to get an image. So I'm I'm gonna look for a nine cat image and uh, there's an image. I'm gonna copy the image URL. Now there's a special tag in HTML when it comes to displaying images. It's the IMG tag. So I set up my tag, and now you're gonna probably be like, "What is he doing? He's setting a source and putting a link." I'll get into this a lot more in my next video. I'll talk about tag attributes, but for now, just know that that's how you set an image up. And then I'm gonna reload the page, and you're gonna notice that the image is right there. And the final tag I'm gonna want to leave with you guys before um, I end the screencast is the paragraph tag. Now, I'm sh it's quite obvious what the paragraph tag does. It obviously is for a paragraph. And 
that's how you set it up. This is a paragraph. Um, it's use it's utilizing the paragraph tag, and um, once you have that set up, you um, let's, let me finish for a while. All right, and now that I have that all typed up, I'm gonna, re um, I'm gonna reload, and you can see that this is a paragraph. It is utilizing the paragraph tag. So that is for you guys is your introduction to HTML. So what's the big takeaway from this? The big takeaway is every tag that you start must end in an appropriate tag. All right. Now, as for the next lesson, I'm going to get into CSS. Now, you probably are thinking, that's a very boring web page you have there. And yes, you're right. How can we make that web page look pretty? How can we design it? How can we make it have style? And I'll be showing you guys one of these styling frameworks, Bootstrap, and also teach you how to make your own styles from scratch using another formatting language, CSS. Just keep in mind, none of these are programming languages. They're just formatting languages. We'll get into the programming aspect of web pages later with JavaScript. But for now, just know there's our index.html in our folder. When we click it, we'll be able to see our HTML file, which is nothing but a plain text file. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more.